In case you haven't noticed, user experience design has become the darling of the business community. Thanks in no small part to the success of Apple, companies have woken up to the selling power of good design. Finally, there's been a realization that simply adding more features will not make a product or service sell better. It's about providing a better experience. Whether that experience is how the product looks and feels in your hand, or the details of the customer service people receive, user experience design can transform how a customer feels about a product. Unfortunately, many organizations um, have grasped the idea of user experience design, but often start from entirely the wrong premise. Many organizations who are embracing user experience design are asking how it can make their products and services better. Unfortunately, really, that's the wrong starting point. The problem with this approach is that it's actually still company focused rather than user centric. It says we have a product or a service and we want to make it appear more attractive to consumers so that they buy it. It starts from the existing features and looks at how to make them more attractive. This kind of approach is only ever going to make superficial changes. For example, if you take designing a website, you can improve the site's usability and make it visually more appealing. But if the content isn't right and it doesn't address the user's questions, then it's still going to fail. True user experience design takes a step back and asks a fundamental question. Before a product is designed or a service shaped or even a website conceived, one fundamental question needs to be asked. What problem are we solving for the customer? Ultimately, that is what user experience design is about. It's about solving problems for the user. It should empower them, make them feel like they can do something they've previously been unable to do. All of the products and services I use on a daily basis make me feel like this. Take, for example, Amazon Prime. It makes me feel like anything I need can be in my hands almost instantly. Evernote makes me feel like I'll never forget anything, while OmniFocus makes me feel in control. Feedly makes me feel like I'm up to date with the world around me, and my iPhone makes me feel in touch with friends and family and, and my own business. And hopefully, these videos and this website makes you feel like a web expert. Each start from the premise of empowering the user, not just making a product or service more appealing. You have to make the user feel like a better person. Ultimately, user experience design should help solve user problems and facilitate them in achieving their goals. Of course, this means that user experience design has to be shaping the fundamental offerings of an organization, and that means that design needs to be represented at the highest levels of the business. With the exception of Silicon Valley startups, few companies have people with a design background on their board. Now, I'm not talking about graphic designers or web designers, but service designers too. People who have experience in shaping products and services to meet customers' needs. It's a skill really important in the 21st century. There was a time when a company could create a product or service, and if people needed it, they would buy it. However, with so many competitors only a click away, it's vital that your products and services are carefully shaped around the user's needs from their initial conception. That means having people with the authority to shape the products and services that are being sold. And one of those services that you offer is your website. Too often we approach our websites with the attitude, we've got this message to communicate. How can we persuade users to view them? Well, even when you're you know being more user centric design you know focused than that there is still this tendency to think in terms of content and functionality that we think users want rarely do we step back and ask ourselves what user's ultimate goal is or what the problem is that we're trying to solve rarely do we think how we should make the user feel empowered rarely are there times when we're looking at how the website fits into the bigger picture of what we're offering customers in terms of products or services. We're very narrow in our vision. If we're going to adopt the principles of user experience design, we must look at our websites within the context of the organizations and products that we produce. We have to focus on what problem we're solving for users. Until we do that, we're gonna do little more than scratch the surface of good user experience design.